Hello there. Welcome to my home. Hi, my name's Caroline Jerry Wallet, commonly known as Mango Mosaics on all the social media. Um, I am a professional mosaic artist. Uh, I travel internationally. I've just come back from Australia working there as well as Singapore. Um, I run workshops in my own studio at home. I live in Bearwood, which I love. And well, do you know, the mosaic has got me all around the world. I used to be a painter. My degree was in fine art back in Cardiff over 30 years ago. And I've been self-employed for as long as that, from the 80s. What is it about mosaics that kind of got your attention then? Do you know, mosaics, it's so calming and therapeutic, but also the fact that you can just make something, anybody can make anything, you know what I mean? You don't have to be some kind of skilled Picasso to do a painting, that kind of... There, there's a, such a down-to-earth um, feel about this that anyone can do it, and it's just so empowering as well. And uh, we just, if we pull back, this is actually your garden. We're not, <laughs> this isn't a canvas in a gallery. That's so right. Even your yes. house gets the full makeover. So this mosaic is 12 foot by 5 foot. So that's over 4 metres uh, by, what, a metre and a half? So go on, how many, how many hours have gone into this roughly? Uh, this took me 45 days, nearly 50 days to create. Yeah. So, and a day is about sometimes 12 hours. Yeah. So yeah, quite a few, quite a few hours on this one. Any particular little favourite segments on this that you like? I love the fox. He's my favourite on this fox. one because he's he's so sly and he's so you know. I yeah. love the fact that he's so hard. He's got an earring. Look at that. I love <laughs> the earring. So um, and I love the way he moves. He's like he's you know bouncing along on the soil. You know, going through and, yeah. and looking for something you know to eat but and you've got little mrs chunky chicken up there sort of like making a quick exit that way <laughs> exit <laughs> stage right um and i love the hedgehog they're so cute and they're sort of like scampering away as fast as they can do you know sometimes i think do you know i could make a story out of the children's book out of all this yeah. all this mosaic you know and uh my first name is Duxa which oh. uh, and uh, my family call me duck and uh, what I love about this little ceramic which was made by my friend uh, Kate Radcliffe is that the fact that it's a mango colour and it's got a paisley in there as well yeah and mango um, is also known as a kerry um, kerry pattern a mango pattern uh, is also a paisley so that's why I call myself mango mosaics as well as that gorgeous alliteration because it's so tasty mango yum 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 <laughs> Caroline this is some more of your work here and um, here and uh, what, what's the what was the project here then so I make uh, mosaics uh, for exhibitions yeah. um, um, in galleries and community centres and venues and things like that um, but my inspiration comes from the crockery that I find in secondhand shops, yeah. and flea markets, car boot sales, even people drop them on the doorstep, you know. Yeah. And this kiln craft plate is one of my go-to favouritest plates ever yeah. because it's so inspiring. So I will, I will see a part of the pattern and then create it into the mosaic. So know? rather than do a design, then look for the, the pieces of... of Exactly. pottery to fill it you're more picking up the pieces and getting inspired by them as yeah them. so yeah. yeah i'm inspired by i'm inspired by the drawing that i do and also the crockery yeah. so that you know i'm not sort of constrained into a drawing and yeah. trying to fit it in or copy it you know and that way the crockery has its own life so then. you've got a great collection of crockery should we just show us the the stash you've got yeah it's a bit so stash. you have friends family anyone that knows you knows that if they see a bit in a shop somewhere that's pick it, it up. yeah so oh, wow. uh, i've got some delightfulness where my friends rob and rich at uh, yeah. at uh, the old dresser cafe gave me and it's been envied by many people actually but uh, I yeah. haven't, I'm going to use it in my own garden mosaic, yeah. so it's going to be for and a Actually, I reckon place. that mug there, if we grab that, oh yes, perhaps um, just to give people an idea, if you show yeah. us how that was used, where that was used, I recognise that. Absolutely. So, 
So I can see. there was a time when I was looking for a piece like that to chunk yeah. out out of the cup so I can give uh, my figure some cheeks. Yeah. So I was doing that and uh, it didn't cut properly. <coughs> it just wouldn't cut. But yeah. sitting on the table of all the broken shards was this section here, oh, right, which yeah, looked yeah. like an eye. Ah, so and hence, from, from that time we just, If you just hold that up next to it. Can you Aha, see the eye? Yeah, fantastic. So, do you know, and that's out of a mistake. Yeah. So a lot of my work comes from making mistakes. <laughs> Happy the mistakes. The secret, <laughs> the secret to life is making mistakes, I would suggest. And the piece we can see just there, this is a commission for a, a neighbour, really, someone yeah, just around the corner. Yeah, somebody in the locale, yeah, yeah. in Bearwood. So um, what I'm doing is, it's called the Enchanted Garden Mosaic. And the clients wanted to have a decorative peacock as the centre stage of the mosaic. So I'm going to have lots of woodland creatures like a hare, hedgehogs, robin, little uh, harvest mice, um, and Mr. Foxy Luxy there, looking <laughs> all sly. So, you know, I'm just having a lot of fun with it, really.